All right, y'all, it is officially day number nine after the FUE hair transplant and things are going rather smoothly, like always. Very little itching, if any. Really smooth sailing. I'm a go hard, bitch, yeah, I'm a star. Hey, on me now, cause I'm a go far. Look at me now, if you wanna see good in five years, cops, I'ma still be. Now, taking a look at the recipient area, I have noticed as the scab starts shrinking down and possibly falling off, I feel like a few of them have dislodged themselves, although I haven't actually seen them anywhere. So I'm not sure where they're going since I don't really knock them off in my sleep or anything. Well, maybe they fall off as I'm washing. Because I do see some random hairs throughout there that don't have scabs around them. So I guess that's a good sign. That means they're falling off on their own. Although as this is happening, I'm noticing a bunch of gaps between each of the follicles, so it's not as dense as it looked when they first implanted them. As far as the swelling goes, I think we're 100% back to normal. We actually pretty much have been for the past couple of days, although I wasn't 100% sure because I was like, maybe I just got used to the swelling, but I'm looking at myself and I think I'm fly like I used to be back when I had hair. <laughs> With that being said, I mean, the hairline's looking good, you know? pretty straight up until, you know, this side. Although I feel like, I guess, being slightly not straight right here makes it look a little bit more natural, which I guess is good. So, you know, it is what it is. If we actually take a look at the hairline, you can actually see some of the hairs kind of sprouting and they are facing down, which is weird because I heard when they do the hairline, they usually pack them going upwards or something like that. So it looks like it's a denser, thicker hairline to give that illusion. Here, I guess they're just going everywhere. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out once all the scabs fall off and we actually have some hair, but it is what it is. As far as the donor area, I mean, I think we're doing good. Very dense still, healing up rather nicely. A little bit of sensitivity. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, want, I don't really want to call it pain, although, you know, it's like a pain when I wash it in a couple little spots. No big deal, nothing I can't handle. It is all right. Now I am still wearing button up shirts, you know, just for, E, so I don't have to stretch it over my head because I still don't want to agitate the follicles even though I have brushed my hand on them and hit them on things a couple of times and everything's chilling. I mean, come on, look, they're all still here. We're doing good. We're doing swell. And come on, man. Look at that hair. Look at that hairline. You see that hairline? Now remember, it's only day nine. Now, granted, remember, these are, for the most part, when you're looking at it, you see the scab, so it's not necessarily a hair, but, you know, gives that illusion. Like, looking at it like this. Like, look at that. Even with that little gap that's slowly closing in, and I'm hoping that it closes in a little bit better, hoping it looks a little bit more smooth. But even with that, you know, at a normal distance, unless I'm like, yo, look at this, the sun's hitting right on it. I feel like, I mean, look at that. Looks like I got hair, man. <laughs> what more could I ask for? I'm gonna enjoy this before the ugly duckling face starts and I look like I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that, yeah. Ooh, ooh, I mean, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Things are going smooth. Literally no pain up here. I mean, this is a very smooth procedure, I guess. I mean, it's not even a procedure anymore, the aftermath. Now I am noticing it is a tad bit red, although, you know, like from here, it doesn't look red at all. When you look up close, like, oh, I can see some red. So you can see red up close, and I guess that's gonna be lasting a while. Although, you know, from normal distance, it looks chill. Although once all the scabs fall off and the hairs fall out, might be a little bit more noticeable. Just gotta, you know, protect all that from the sun. But things are healed up. Like these things are locked into place. Like they're not going anywhere. I could probably rip at them and they're not gonna budge. Literally, like a lot of people would say, wash out the scabs right now. But my doctor said, no. I'm gonna just, you know, listen to him because he's the professional, I think, I hope. I'm hoping. <laughs> but I mean, so far, so good. No complaints from me, you know, other than, you know, a little not straightness although when the scabs fall off maybe it'll be perfectly straight i don't know maybe it'll be even more crooked i don't know that's that's kind of the mystery right here we don't know what's gonna happen but you know not really too much to complain about got hair how can you complain look better than i did <laughs> make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep on with the journey let me know about your journey or if you plan to start a journey and subscribe to my other channel so you can see me on the day to day without going like this and checking out my hair because then you can just see what I look like when I'm just doing me. Y'all already know. Man, I'm just so excited I got hair.